This is Matt, and these are the metal vinyl releases for November 2023. Starting with November 3rd, we'll get the second studio album from Finnish heavy speed metal band Satan's Fall. This is Destination Destruction, to be released by Steamhammer Records. Vinyl variants will be Classic Black as well as White, the latter of which limited to 200 copies. There are also t-shirt bottles with this title, but those appear to have already sold out, in case you're looking for them. Anyways, there's a music video available for the track Lead the Way, lots of energetic trad metal with a strong hard rock flavor in the choruses. Watch it at the SPV Entertainment YouTube channel. So some might remember that I did pick up their first album, which I liked, so it's possible I'll check into this one as well. Also on November 3rd will be the ninth studio album from American technical death metal band Suffocation. This is Hymns from the Apocrypha, to be released by Nuclear Blast Records. Vinyl variants will be White, Brown, Black Corona at 600 copies, and Brown, White, Splattered Vinyl at 3,300 copies. Music videos are out for Seraphim Enslavement, as well as Perceptual Deception. Both give you rapid snare and double bass drums, along with some crunching riffs, guttural vocals, and a considerable amount of shred. Check them both out at the Nuclear Blast YouTube channel. So while not the most consistent fan of this band, the available tracks are good, so I'll be checking more into them when they're released. And also on November 3rd, look out for the latest live album from Swedish black metal band Watain. This is Die in Fire, Live in Hell, Agony and Ecstasy over Stockholm, to be released by Nuclear Blast Records. So the show was recorded in Stockholm on October 7th, 2022. 12 tracks in total spanning their 25-year career. Final variants for this one will be Sun Yellow and Red Transparent, limited to 3,700 copies, as well as the band-exclusive Gold Oxblood, limited to 1,000 copies. Also music videos for the tracks Before the Cataclysm and Ecstasies in Night Infinite. Videos are shot with multiple cameras and the overall vibe of the art design visuals capture this band pretty well. Likewise, it's a good and clear live mix. So watch both videos at the Nuclear Blast Records YouTube channel. So as some know, I've been exploring black metal here and there and already own a couple of this band's albums. So this might be time for me to plunge into one of their live records. Sounds pretty good. Moving on to November 10th, expect the 8th studio album from Irish thrash metal band Gamma Bomb. This is Bats, to be released by Prosthetic Records. Vinyl variants will be clear, gold, or classic black. Also music videos available for the tracks Speed Funeral and Rusted Gold, both of which available at the Prosthetic Records YouTube channel. Some more of that jokey thrash we've come to expect from Gamma Bomb, and while they're competent and they do have their fans, I might be passing on this one. Also on November 10th, we'll get the latest EP from German thrash metal band Sodom. This is 1982, to be released by Steamhammer Records. Final variants will be White and Black Splatter at 300 copies, as well as Red Black Marbled, also at 300 copies. Also music video for the title track, which is a remix of the same song available last year on their 40 Years at War, The Greatest Hell of Sodom compilation. Truthfully, I like this newer version just a little bit better. But check it out for yourself at the SPV Entertainment YouTube channel. So I'm pretty much sold on this EP, so it's likely I'll be picking this one up. And also on November 10th will be the debut live album box set from International Hellhammer Tribute Project, Triumph of Death. This is Resurrection of the Flesh, to be released by Noise Records. Vinyl variant for the box set will be 3LP Red, though the standalone album version will also be available in limited edition 2LP White and Black Swirl, as well as 2LP Classic Black. An audio clip is also available for Messiah, which can be found at the Triumph of Death YouTube channel. So the available track definitely has that classic Hellhammer sound, though the production might be a little bit improved. Overall excited for this release, and in fact I already pre-ordered the box set, so you'll be hearing more about that in a future video, for sure. Moving on to November 17th, look out for a compilation from American Black and Speed Metal Band Bewitcher. This is Deep Cuts and Shallow Graves, to be released by Century Media Records. Vinyl variant will be 2 LP White, limited to 300 copies. Also music video for Manifesting Darkness, which I'm guessing is one of the newly recorded tracks on this otherwise compilation of demo, rare, and unreleased material. Anyways, check that out at the Century Media YouTube channel. 
So I already owned the last two albums and really dug both of them. Given that, it's almost guaranteed that I'll get this one. And maybe the first album, too. Also on November 17th, expect the sixth studio album from American technical thrash band Sadis. This is The Shadow Inside, to be released by Nuclear Blast Records. Vinyl variant will be Red Silver Swirl with Black Splatter. Also lyric videos for It's the Sickness, Ride the Knife, and Scorched and Burnt. All three are great, but I'm especially liking Scorched and Burnt, so maybe check that one out first. But maybe watch all three of them at the Nuclear Blast YouTube channel. So we hadn't seen an album from this band since 2006's Out for Blood, and I'll be honest, I lost track of them even before that. But I'm really digging this new material, and I'm eager to hear more. Absolutely. Moving on to November 24th, we'll get the second studio album from international death metal band Cruciamentum. This is Obsidian Refractions, to be released by Profound Lore Records. Final variants will be Blue with Gold Marble Swirl, Ecomix, and Classic Black. Also a visualizer video for Scorn Manifestation, as well as an audio clip for Aberrant Evangelium. Crushing old school death metal from both tracks, so check them out at the Profound Lore Records YouTube channel. Anyways, in the last episode of Hook Me Up, Eric and I talked about Cruciamentum's previous album, Charnel Passages, and had some pretty good things to say about that record. So maybe I need to look into this one as well, because it sounds pretty good. Also on November 24th will be the fifth studio album from American metal band Destructor. This is Blood, Bone, and Fire to be released by Shadow Kingdom Records. Final variants will be Blood at 400 copies, Bone at 200 copies, and Fire at 400 copies. Also a music video for the track Heroic Age from Blood, Bone, and Fire. You should definitely watch that at the Destructor Cleveland YouTube channel. So as you can imagine, a solid track here, plenty of heavy metal goodness, and I'm even digging the production on this one. And while I'm thinking about it, seriously go over to their YouTube channel and sub them because it's really a crime how low their sub count is. Anyways, I do really want to hear more of this record because this lead track is awesome. Check it out. As for reissues on vinyl, we have Motorhead on November 3rd with Another Perfect Day 40th Anniversary Edition book set from BMG. And now available are Merciful Fate represses for In the Shadows, Time, Into the Unknown, and Nine from Metal Blade Records. Also Primitive Man from Scorn from Relapse Records. And likewise Exhumed with Death Revenge and Horror, also from Relapse Records. So a lot to consider here for me. Some potential buys from Watain, Sodom, Bewitcher, and Destructor. But I'm sure you have your eye on some new records to buy. Definitely let me know which ones, whether or not I mention them here. In fact, if you know of any future releases I should discuss, you should let me know that, and of course, anything else relevant in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, but also consider sharing it and maybe even subscribing to the channel. Of course, if this is your first time here, you should know my name is Matt. This is the Accusation Network, where each and every week I do videos on metal vinyl collecting. I also do videos on classic and modern metal in general. But check out all my playlists. I do over a dozen shows in and around the subjects of metal and vinyl and metal vinyl and all of that. Definitely knock yourself out. Anyways, thank you for watching and come back next month for even more metal vinyl releases.